Well, hello everyone. Today, I picked up this from Bushwhacker. And we're going to install it today and uh, this will fit my 2021 four door. And it's a big long box. What's in it, you say? Well, and it is uh, middle of December. Santa arrived early, didn't he? Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah, pretty long, aren't they? Well, that's to cover all four doors. And, uh, yeah. The instructions, always nice to have those. We're in a blizzard right now. That's why we're in my kitchen. It's a little bit too cold in my garage to apply these. But I was too excited to uh, wait. Temperature is going to be about minus 24 with the wind chill. So my garage is insulated, but it's not heated. So I just wanted to make sure I got these today. I just wanted to make sure that uh, everything arrived safely. So these were the rear panels for the rear. And these were for the front. So that's all that works. All pretty simple instructions. We just have to wait till it warms up a little bit. It's supposed to be a cold week. Uh, around the minus 20s, close to minus 30 with the wind chill. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait because these are put on with double sided tape. So, you want to make sure all the metal is warm and for a while too so it adheres and it stays on. But, oh, I'm excited. That'll protect all the paint and everything on my brand new truck. Okay, so uh, I'll wait for a warmer day. I'll get back to you. Well, it's finally time to install these. Weather is kind of warm now. Well, it is the middle of May. We are still getting negative temperatures at nighttime, but uh, we do get up to 15 Celsius during the day, so I think I'm okay to install these. The instructions do call for a temperatures above 10 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. So uh, my insulated garage won't get that cold tonight. It's supposed to get down to maybe zero, maybe minus one with the wind chill of minus five. Yes, May long weekend here in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So it is uh, May 21st, 2022. But we're gonna get these installed. Uh, another note, I just thought I'd let you know, uh, back in December, 2021, I paid $273 Canadian and I got these off of Amazon. Why are we installing these? Well, I've now had my truck for approximately uh, nine months and I've been so careful with it, yet I noticed I got a few scratches when I opened up my door and I'll show you where. So yeah, look at that, a couple scratches already. that hair out of there but yeah as much as I'm careful I'm getting scratches on my new truck and I don't like that so that's why we got these bushwhacker uh, rocker panel covers and uh, yeah let's see what they look like I've already cleaned the surface and that's how I noticed I had that scratch already so, this goes here like so. And you kind of, there's a lip way up front that goes over and that probably tells you where to position everything. But yeah, doesn't that look a lot nicer? If you step out, you're just going to be hitting this plastic. But let's just line everything up. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, let's take a look at the back one. I have a bit of a dilemma on this one. Um, 
the way this thing installs. So I've got this, and you see how this sticks out now. Like, I don't know if I like that. It, it will be adhered, but what do you think? Maybe drop some comments. Let's see here. Let's see how it'll look. What do you think? Should I leave that there? I don't know. I don't like that. And it kind of... Oh, that's just the cushion. The door's not rubbing against it, but... I don't know. You know what? I'm more concerned about protecting this, not the outside of the panel. So what I think I'm going to do is... Yeah, I'm going to just trim it right along here. See, I've had a few passengers get in here. And yeah, there's already a scratch. Especially on these newer trucks, I just don't think there is a, a strong coat of paint or a thick coat of paint on it. Okay, first things first, get everything clean. Nice clean rags. Give me some isopropanol alcohol. You can use whatever you want to clean surfaces. Nice and clean. Yeah, alcohol clean. So this one goes here, but I don't quite like that. I don't like that there. So we're going to remove that. There we go. That's one done. Let's get the other one done. Now that my stuff is here. Okay. So what do you think? Is that a little bit too much to leave with no tape? They got that end with no tape. You don't really need the tape there. I can see it's kind of, you'll be on a high spot if you do. I think it's ready. Let's pull this double-sided stuff off. Okay. Well, I know this piece kind of goes to a maximum over here, so... There we go! That looks pretty nice. Like I said, if I ever want to, I can still come in and put that on. But I'm not. I doubt it. But I will keep these pieces, you never know. Might get a stupid something, who knows. Okay, let's get the front one on. Yeah, make sure it fits nice, looks like it's going to. Let's rip this stuff off. Okay, let's get 
this one on now. What do you, what do you all think? That looks pretty nice. Well, there you go. That was a pretty easy upgrade. Should actually come like that, shouldn't it? Okay, so let's do the other side and good luck with your project.